the Yankee and the Brit, Grand Man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network, the RTM Radio Nitwits. Hi. And boy, was these nitwits giggling earlier. What was the funny? I posted up on my Facebook page to say, hey, we're live in 20 minutes. And Nickers commented and said, hoping for an exceedingly good run today. (laughs) (laughs) Very not funny. (laughs) I think we've exceeded our patience at this point. We did a little checking up today, and we burned up 13% of our gig today. Well, since last night. And we were outside almost all day. We weren't even on the goddamn thing. we've been been on and off, but most of the time it's been switched off. It was switched up all last night. But, you know, we actually did some research on uh, on um, XC Internet. Oh, and boy, did in- we. If you didn't look at that page link I posted. Yeah, get this. There's a, there's a lass that used up six gigabytes of Internet while she was on the phone to Exceed, and her box wasn't even switched on at the time. She switched, off, she switched everything off. She was using the Internet on her phone, and she gets on the phone to, uh, to Exceed, and six gigabytes were gone from her account and that ain't all the list goes on man it's not oh my freaking God. happy person on that feed 457 people had and um, these are just the people that actually make posts about it I and mean, you think about how many people are unhappy with something and they never ever say anything oh it's freaking you know, ridiculous 457 people had the most awful experiences with exceed and i'm not just talking about the odd missed phone call or a bodged up direct debit. I'm talking about a complete fuck up of service. <laughs> I love when you say that. What? Fuck all. To fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> fuck all, yeah. Well, hello to all you lovely peoples. How are yeah, you? Christine and Mrs. Dave and Mr. Dave. And, Mr. Uh, Jip Jab. Hi, Dan. What's going on, Mr. Must Be? Nickers. Nickers. Nickers and Nick or just Nick? Both. Both? Cool. Very good. Because I, you know. Michelle Callison. Hi, Larry. Christine Lewis. Michelle. Larry, Brenda. Hi. Giggles. Boy, Patty. Truck you, Patty. Tim's here. Brenda. I saw Brenda somewhere. I said hello to Brenda. Hello yes. to Brenda. Somebody else said it. That's how I knew she was here. Very good. Becky's here. Hi, Beck. Yeah, What's up? Rebecca. Let's see. Did I miss anybody? Just want to make sure I said hello to everybody. Dave is, uh,. Dave needs some people to get on that 2017 cruise. Come on, you guys, now get it together. And he needs 46 more people to book for the 2017 <laughs> cruise. And something about Christine was top heavy and she couldn't pay the full deposit or something like that. What's that say? So Christine is top heavy, so she has doesn't to pay the top, full deposit. Doesn't top heavy mean you got big boobs? Well, yeah. Well, it does for me anyway. That's, that's what he says. Right, read it right there. <laughs> I just saw it. Maybe I read it wrong. I don't know. Anyways, hello, Nick. Mike. Christine Lewis said that we need to hear Giggle's song and then she wants to hear her song. You know the ones. You're the reason that the kids are ugly, little darlings. Ugly little puppets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those little puppets, poor little things are in the cupboard. Oh, for about and I got four some weeks. new stuff I haven't played before, some good 90s country Oh so. my gosh, you guys fall off your chair. We've got new stuff on RTM Radio. I know, hard to believe, Get huh? that. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, the old internet was just humping along here when I was loading songs. I couldn't couldn't keep up with it. I couldn't believe it was working that fast. And I downloaded one more song before we started the show, and it was stalled. And I'm like, see? As soon as we get ready to start the show, the bastards cut it back. Mm. But right now, it's running good, so I don't know how long that's going to last. Just don't know what's going on here. So we're going to enjoy it while we can, so let's do some two-step and boot scooting and get our ass in. That's me, Kirk. That's me. Always screwing things up. Gotta love it. Donna just asked me what that means when I said, that's me, Herc. Um, It's from a cartoon. Way back, Hercules was a cartoon when I was a kid. Oh, okay, yeah. And the little pan dude would always run around there. Every time Hercules would call him, he'd say, that's me, Herc, that's me. (laughs) So you had to be there. You had to be there, but that's where it comes from. I've been saying Let's tell these guys about the free gift that I had today. The free (laughs) 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 gift? This British thing still just amazes some people. This girl, she's a cute little Texas girl. I got, got my full ice accent, cream. Got the full oh. accent and everything. We went to Sonic and had a bite. And uh, this little girl, cute little thing, probably doesn't know squat about anything. But, <laughs> you know, when they bring the food to the car, she comes over to the truck and she hands the food into me. And, you know, they have to kind of stand at the end of the menu board there and reach it into you. So she passes this stuff in there and I pass it over to Donna and... 
Donna says something else and this girl... Yeah, the girl says something like, do you want ketchup? And I said, no, thank you. The girl goes, what? what? She, she kind of stuttered. She's like, oh, what? Where's, what, what, where are you from? Or something yeah, like that. I could just see her face in, the, in Run Disney. Well, anyway, that's what I'm getting to. She's looking, in, <laughs> she's looking in the driver's mirror to look at Donna. And she's talking to Donna by talking through my mirror and looking at Donna. Totally ignores me. I don't even exist. And yeah, and then she kind of just stood there. Kind of like open mouth and just stared. I, I've never, and, and I I've stuck, never talked to anybody and, from and England. And I stuck my tongue Britain. out. I was, I was thinking, what the fuck is she looking at? So I just stuck <laughs> my tongue out. I was like, nah. <laughs> and then she said, can you say that again? And I said, do you want me to recite the phone book? I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, she got some, she, Randy wanted some salt and she says, she says, yeah, you can have some salt if she asks for it. <sighs> so anyway, so anyway, I went. Is that what she said? If you yeah, ask me, yeah. So that's. I know. Fuck you, white boy. Yeah. Get so so I went salt. <laughs> then she, and then she brings the salt over to my window instead of Randy's window. And then we sit there and we eat, and then we're just about done. In fact, we we're just finishing up, and she comes over to Donna's window and and does what? She brings over an ice cream. You know, one of those swirly, whirly, whirly, whirly. Just an ice, ice cream creams. cone, basically. Yeah, ice cream cone. Yeah, she says, oh, I made this extra one by accident. Would you like it? <laughs> I was like, you know, oh, go on then. <laughs> and fuck you, white boy, again. <laughs> didn't even look at me, didn't even offer me anything, but brought Donna he, one. You lose. I told Donna when we left, I said, she just wants to eat that British girl. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Randy was like saying, she just wants to eat some of that uh, British pussy. I think she got a hard on for Donna is what happened. She, she just did, loved that accent, did. man. I never she, talked to anybody she want, from she Donna. Wanted, she wanted this pussy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, probably. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> Funny boys. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable, man. So that shit still goes on no matter where we go. Oh. All right. So anyways, Dave said, you probably read it. I don't have to repeat it. And besides, this damn thing won't scroll back up that far now anyways. So anyways, Dave needs you guys to get signed up or whoever signed up for the uh, 2017 cruise. Come on. Don't be fooling around now. Yeah, free ice cream cream for the Brit. I got her Brit right here. Yeah. Didn't even offer me anything. <laughs> Not even a shut up asshole. Nothing. Just ignores me. He had fuck all. <laughs> Look at Christine. Donna has a girlfriend. Yeah. Man, 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 man. <laughs> oh yeah, I was kind of upset. Well, I didn't get any ice cream. And there was that there was that guy in McDonald's. It was a couple of months back. Wasn't but it? Donna baked a cake today, so I have cake and coffee <gasps> coming up. We if anybody do. wants any, let me know. I'll pass you. Yeah, the plate. I baked a cake. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. I couldn't believe it, too. She knew which end of the package to open and which end to pour into the pan. I mean, it was amazing. Yeah, but that's where it sucked right there, because it was <laughs> packet food. <laughs> Ever since I've got here, it's packet this and packet that. Packet pie! If I had some scales, I'd be making that cake myself from scratch. You we couldn't need to buy make a fucking yes, cake I... if your life depended yes, on I it. Yes, I can. You can. I can. Then you tell me what, get me the flour, I'll get the flour. Well, I got flour in the house. I'll get you everything and you make a cake yes. from scratch. Yes, yes. I want you to make a pie from scratch, too. Yes. I want you to make the crust, yes. the dough, mix it all yes. up, roll it out. Yes. I want to see that shit. Yes. There'll be video. Let's do it now. There will be video. Did you know? Did you know? I made. Um... Did your cake come out of a box, Michelle? I love the Betty Crocker, the butter yellow ones, man. Those are the best. Oh, it's all about packet shit here, I tell you. Packet. Convenience, there. baby, convenience. Who wants to stand in the kitchen for an hour and well, a half? Well, I don't want to, but seriously, Rip oh my up in the God. package, pour it in the bowl, throw in the eggs, a little bit of water or oil or whatever it takes, mix it up, and it's done. And we got the most kick-ass oven that we cooked that in, too. That little Black & Decker uh, toaster oven. That sound bitch is a badass little oven. You know, um, if you guys look on my YouTube, it was about, maybe about two, you're probably talking about two years ago, I made a shepherd's pie, and Randy says, I don't know what it is, film yourself cooking it. So I made a shepherd's pie. Yeah, if you look and, on her um, YouTube page, you can find her making Yeah, and pie. Randy, I put something like gravy, or and then I said something like, om nom 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 nom. Randy fucking got hold of it, changed it all around, changed my words around. So oh, I did. So it sounds like I'm going. Nom 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 nom. You are. And then, what was that? What was the song that you put in? Is it something like "You Better Bake"? You're going to cook it. Something like that. You got to bake it. You got to cook it. Yeah. And then put that in the background. What's her name? Starts it off. 
Julia Child starts off with the starts the whole thing off with oh you must mix the cake with the French stuff yeah whatever it is shit, I'm gonna <laughs> we'll have, have to, to watch that again That's yeah a cool I'm gonna have video. to post like those that. videos up in a bit it's on Donna's YouTube page somewhere but yeah I've always had issues with hello Michelle things. Cross all right Michelle what's up love I tagged Michelle in your post oh I haven't there. had German chocolate in a long time you ever had a German chocolate cake no you don't like coconut do you not a fan. It's when there's too much of it, you know. I don't mind the odd bits. Oh, that's you know, like good, I can't, yeah? You know, I can't eat a... You guys in the in the UK, you know, you'll know Bounty Chocolate Bar. You know, I'll go and eat one of those. And it's just like my mouth's all full of coconut and I just can't get rid of the fucking thing. But what did you have? What did you give me? Um, Becky's got her old man in the kitchen right now. You go in there and bake me a cake. Bake it a cake now. <laughs> what did you give me a few months back? It was a chocolate bar a with... With... with uh, <laughs> <laughs> a chocolate bar with coconut in, and I think it had a peanut in as well. Oh, that's the Almond Joy. Yeah, that wasn't too much, was it? It was quite, quite oh, nice. Oh, I love those things, but my yeah. teeth just can't take it anymore. But a bounty chocolate bar, I'm like, Ugh! Oh, it's yummy. Nothing better than eating junk food all day long. Oh, fuck that. But I think I'm about due here to go have a... Make myself a fresh cup of coffee and uh, have some of that cake you made. No, the cake that the packet made. I just mixed the. So see, thing. I can have my cake and eat it too. Ah, 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 I just ah. mix the thing. It's packet stuff. Bounty over here. When you mention bounty, you think of paper towels, or what do you call kitchen roll? Kitchen roll. Excuse me, <laughs> kitchen roll. That should be in the bathroom. <laughs> now, hey, that's hitting above the belt. What do you mean, what teeth? I should have said tooth, huh? Hurts my tooth. Pretty soon I'm going to look like that typical joke about Michelle Disney. says, a good C and two. That's what you gave to Donna. A good C and two. Yeah, I gave <laughs> her a good C and two. That's after the show. Oh, yes, I'm sir. I'm overdue. i got to make up for sir, it. Sir, yes, sir. And you can't make a cake without your dish rag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are a hoot, man. That's why we love you so much. Let's move over here and let's get Christine's. Christy, Jesus Christ, that friggin' woman over there. Dave's old lady. Her song playing. <laughs> Dave's old lady. <laughs> yeah, her too. Hit it, hit it. Play more of your favorite country songs every hour. Yes. Great country music whenever you want it. What's be more American than that? Off your feet. Random man and Donna, the Yankee and the Brit, the RTM of Radio, Radio Network. Uh, Donna, some, yeah, you, it was you that said about the cake in a cup. Any of you other guys made that uh, cake in a cup thing? Man, that's freaking awesome. Those are great little quick desserts. Mix it all up in the cup, throw it in a nuker, and uh, bam, you got a nice But what's with the salt? It's not just apple cake that you put salt on. Do you remember your mum made that big, huge peach thing, and we uh, and we battled our way through it for days? I never put it you, salt on that. No, I'm sorry, you're I wrong. I think there. you'll find you did. I think you'll find you're <laughs> I fucking think you'll wrong. I think you'll find you did. Uh, Nasty. Wrong! Wrong! But that cake in a cup, man, that's friggin' awesome stuff, man. Janine started me on that. She made those things up, and they were awesome. All kinds of chocolate cake with frostings or fruit or all kinds of different stuff. Those things are great. I didn't know if anybody else made that or not. Tim's birthday is today? Well, happy birthday. How come I didn't see that on my page anywhere? Mr. Jib Jab, you know what we've got to do then. Will you play Timothy's song today? Yes, we will. Which one is that? Yes, we will. I think it's something, something called Toes in the Water or Toes in the Toes Sea. Toes in the Sand? Toes in the Sand. Oh, all right yes. then. We Off the top of my head, head, I remembered it. Um, oh, Timothy, your son. Yes. Timoth oh, all right. Sorry. Yes, we will play that. I know which song you mean. I remember it from that uh, beach bum party, and you asked for that song for your lad. Yeah, you know, that's one way to tell the difference, though, was calling him Timothy and calling the hubby Tim. Makes sense. <laughs> See what I get for having blonde hair? Still works like that. Anyways, got you now, Becky. It's uh, is that still the right song? Yes, I, okay. bet, I bet it is. Well, let's do the ugly song. Words. Yeah, I got that, Christine. I guess better late than never, huh? We're capable, kiddo. Really, we are. Um, let's see, did I not get off the list? There we go. All right. Uh, 
Okay, we'll do this and I'll find out. How's that sound? Does that make any sense at all? Did I say anything right in the last minute that made any Absolutely sense? Absolutely not. Thank you. Well, happy birthday. Random Man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. Hey, you even got Randy tapping his foot then. I finally got some Alison Krauss loaded up. Can you believe it? It's only it? took you about two years. You know, I remember about two years ago on webcam and he says, Remind me, next time we do a show, I'll load up some Alison Krauss. And she reminded me about five minutes before we went on the air. Congratulations. <laughs> it took you about two years. That's all right. It's good music. What the hell? Hi, this is Rand the Man for the Yankee and the Brit Sign Company. We are a maker of all types of signs, and we specialize in the larger real estate signs and construction site signs. We can make your graphics, and you can save some cash by installing them yourself, or we can ship you a completed sign. We can also create a T-shirt that is just your style. Find us at yankeeandthebrit.com for T-shirts, or search the Yankee and the Brit on Facebook to see some of our signs in action. Call Donna at 903-487-9626. Again, 903-487-9626. Do it now! Join SS Cruises at the Truckers Gold Wild Cruise with special guests Brad James and RTM Radio's very own Randy and Donna. We will set sail on the Carnival Conquest from the port of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, February 6, 2016. The St. Day Cruise will be on the calls of beautiful ports of St. Martin, St. Kitts, San Juan, Puerto Rico, and Great Turk. Inside cabins start at $832 per person. Ocean View cabins, $932 per person. And if you want to go all out, balcony cabins start at $1,257 per person. A deposit of $300 per person is required at booking, and it's due by September 5th, 2015. These prices include cabin, port fees, taxes, and prepaid gratuities. If you're interested in going on this great vacation, go to www.sscruisesinc.com. That's www.sscruisesinc.com. Or contact Dave Summers at SS Cruises, 937-331-8029. That's 937-331-8029. Hope to see you aboard. Do it now. Putting the cunt back in country. Randy and Donna on the Yankee and the Brick Show, RTM Radio. Stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas. Hello to John Bivin. How are you doing, John. Mr. John? Nice to see you dropping in for a few minutes. Wow, blast from the past. I was just telling Randy that uh, I used to chat to you on Skype and you're a good lady and I can remember you telling me about the squirrels in the park and, oh, really, really cool to see you. Everybody say hello to John in the chat room. Thank you, John. I think we just might do that. I'm fixing to have me some coffee and some cake. Hello. Yes, I've been baking today. Well, we're baking packet food. <sighs> So what's this, uh, Wendy, uh, that's not the song I wanted to hear? Well, that's what I got asked to play. What do you want to hear? Speak up, girl, come on. Wendy feeling any better? Obviously she's capable of typing, so it can't be too bad. Ugh, excuse me. Uh, something else I was going to say about food, and now I don't remember what it was. I don't know. <laughs> but I know that cake's sounding good. So I guess I'll do that. And well, well, thank you for coming, John. I hope you have a good night. Yeah, nice to have Enjoy somebody stop dinner. by. Enjoy your dinner. Yeah, he says he was fixing his dinner. Oh? Yum, yum. What are you having for your dinner? Tell us. Who, me? John. Oh. He left. He said he Yeah, was it's leaving. so cool. Me and Randy got married, John, if you're, still, if you're still around about. Me and Randy got married. It's so cool. I'm getting married in what cause I'm horny. How'd it go? <laughs> Ding dong, dong, my balls, balls are gonna shine. shine. Somebody asked me if I'd polished them up for the wedding. Yeah, who was it? Someone that commented on one of my videos said, Probably Christine Did his balls shine? <laughs> oh, I'd have to say it was Christine or Becky be my breast guess. All right, then. I'm sure it says yellow cake on the packet or white cake. I don't know. What did it say on it? It says time for coffee and cake. Yes. That's exactly what it said. Do you have anything else to add, my dear? Absolutely not. She didn't want to hear that she was conceived at a park in Michigan. And when she wanted to hear, poking my sweet old lady all summer long. That, was that better now? Or <clears throat> She didn't want to hear that she was conceived at a park in Michigan. I don't get it. So She's probably got a finger, she's probably got her fingers in her ears like. Hi, Brenda, again. She's probably got her fingers in her ears and like, oh my God. Mum, fucking in the park. La, 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 la. Old people don't do oh, it. Oh, I la, get la. it. I get it now. Old That's people don't do it. 
<laughs> Spit polished. Now they're all shiny. Rub the hair right off them bloody bastards. <laughs> I don't bloody believe it. All right, let's see here then. Uh, done uh, jacking around here. Christine likes to screw on the picnic table. Oh, huh? really? Okay. Hi, Brenda. Again for the third time. Weren't you here earlier? I thought she was. I saw somebody say hi, Brenda. Yeah. Christine likes to screw on the picnic table. Chris Steele. What's ah, up, trucker girl? How you doing? Nice to see your face for again for after like how long's it been? It's been like forever with missed ya. Where you been? At least that long. Yeah. <laughs> it was in the bushes. What a briar bush? <laughs> Wendy's like, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Oh. See what us old people do when our kids ain't watching? <laughs> no, you weren't here? Somebody said hello to you. Well, anyways, hi! Hope I finally got it right now. Cheese and rice. All right, let's see. I must admit, my nan used to tell me a little bit too much information. She used to say, you know, when your granddad bent me over the mangle. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> your grandma still talks like that. Even when I'm listening, she talks like oh, that. Oh, yeah, you should, you, should hear, you should hear the too much information that Randy has to hear off my nan. <laughs> Funny as hell, though. <laughs> I don't even know her, and I love that woman. She's pretty cool. And she's one of those women that says, uh, "Oh my God, that fart today! It burnt me bum. You could have fried it. You could have fried an egg on my ass. It was that hot." <laughs> 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 this is why you don't cook in my kitchen. Because <laughs> if you ever bring me breakfast and my eggs are burnt, I'm gonna know why. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what my nan says, not I'm me. just saying, maybe you learned some of that from your nan, you know, because grandchildren learn a lot from their grandparents. So. <laughs> that's probably why so many parents don't like leaving their kids with their mom and dads. <laughs> and there was that time she called me up and she said, uh, she said, you guys don't probably don't know what bicycle clips are, but they're like little metal clips that you put on the bottom of your trousers to stop uh, to stop your trousers from getting caught in your bicycle, ca bicycle chain. Actually, they're dangerous as shit. Yeah, well, anyway, she called me up and she says... Donna, you're going to have to cancel your visit this morning with your brother. I've got the shits. <laughs> and I was like, stained your underpants, have you? <laughs> she, said, she says, I had to walk fast coming home, coming home. Everybody thought I was smelling if I stopped to talk to people for too long. She says, it was a good job I was wearing my bicycle clips, otherwise it'd have been all over the floor. <laughs> Well, at least it didn't run down in your shoes. And I had my phone on loudspeaker. My brother, no, no word of a lie, my brother didn't even, he couldn't even see half a smile. You know, I was wetting myself laughing. He just sat there straight faced, you know. At least it didn't run in your shoes. Does. That was a good thing. <laughs> But yeah, she's like, I didn't dare stop and talk to someone in case they smelt it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, can we move along now, please? Thank you. Mary Chapin Carpenter. Passionate kisses. Oh. <laughs> um, you were talking about with Donna. Donna's out getting the rest of the clothes off the line. The big storm's coming here. So, uh, if it gets here before we get done, it's about 40 miles from here. We're, I don't know. We might have to abandon ship if it's as wicked as it looks. Uh, maybe the lightning won't be so bad. I don't know. But anyways, uh, Shit, what the hell was I going to say? Ah, freaking white people. Dumbasses. Hey, Nicholas, what's going on, man? Um, anyways, oh, that. Yeah, talking about the rain. Last night, we were in here, and we thought we'd watch Doctor Who. Well, it ended up being a rerun. But it rained so freaking hard last night that we had the TV turned all the way up, and on this steel roof, we could not hear it. We couldn't even... We, we were... We were trying to talk to each other last night, and I was like, Die! What are you doing over there? We were, couldn't even like, hear each other. Shut dirty to me! I know, we couldn't even hear each other. It was so friggin' It rained so hard. It must have rained two inches. And I, uh, I don't have the gutters up on my dad's garage yet. He never put them up. I'm putting gutters up on the cabin here and on the garage so we can catch the rainwater. I got one 250-gallon tank that's full. I want to get a couple more. And uh, all I have is just some five-gallon pails and a 40-gallon trash can sitting out there, which is a big trash can. And uh, it was just below half or so before it started to rain. 
It rained last night, and that son of a bitch was running over this morning. And it's just sitting under the eave. It's not even, uh, you know, got pipes to it or anything. And it put that much rain. If we didn't get two or three inches of rain last night, it was amazing. And, of course, I had to babysit Caesar till it was all over with, so I didn't get to sleep till late because he just hates that crap. But, boy, I can't believe it. Wasn't it amazing how hard it rained? I mean, it was so friggin' loud in here, and even with it, the insulation in the ceiling. And wasn't it cool when we went and sat out on the porch, and it was literally above us, all the lightning was, and it was just amazing. Oh, I know. It was beautiful, sitting out there watching light. But then it started getting a little closer. It was like, you know what? Let's go back in the house. <laughs> there was one that absolutely fucking shit me up. You know, it was a huge loud bang. Well, that's the whole thing, you know, Christine, is uh, if it gets too serious around here, I'll just shut it off. It's just... Uh, you know, this stuff here is more important than uh, finishing the show because without it, there is no show. So, yeah, he wasn't too impressed with that. No, it wasn't. What? You weren't what? Impressed with the show. Yeah, I know. But well, that's no, right. we still don't we see Go ahead. Talk Where is Seize the radio dog? It was just here a second ago. He's still at my feet over here. Oh. Neighbor was shooting guns over there, and he don't like that either, so. He had crawled under the desk and was cowering under my feet because of that. Because he's a great big wet blanket, ain't you, sees? Oh, we washed his feet a couple different times a day. The dumbass is walking through Pop's garden. Boy, is he going to kick his ass when he sees what he did the second time he was in there. Because <laughs> he just planted seeds in there and shit. So Caesar <laughs> probably drug them all across the yard on the bottom of those clod hoppers oh, he was walking no. around with. <laughs> yeah, it was quite a mess. I know Pop wasn't impressed. He made a comment about it. Like he does everything else. You know, yeah, he was comments. like, he was like, I've shut the door. I don't want him coming past this gate. Sees, come over here a minute. People are talking to you. All right, let me get up. He might be a minute. He's not exactly on hyperdrive right at the moment. Oh, so anyways, I was getting ready to do another tune. Uh, and Mary Chapin Carpenter, I like her music. That's pretty cool stuff there. Hey, Larry's still here. What do you know? You know that's against the law in Texas to capture rainwater. I don't give a shit if it's against the fucking law or not. I'm capturing my fucking rainwater. Nobody owns it, but everybody owns it. So screw that. You care less what they say about that shit. Come and write me a ticket. As soon as they leave, I'll set it up again. Assholes. Yeah, all that uh, mineral rights and all that shit. Bah, humbug. That's ridiculous. Catch the rainwater. Stop being assholes. They worry about fucking... Uh, all the lakes going dry and drought and all that shit, and then they tell you you can't catch rainwater. What? Why wouldn't you let people catch rainwater? <laughs> what the hell did you just do? Look who's in the chat room. Psst. Oh, oh, it's Rick. Hi, Rick. Hey, Spreaker Daddy. What's up, hey, buddy? Hey, Spreaker Daddy, Rick. It's illegal to catch rainwater in a lot of places, Christine. This ain't the only place. I don't know if it is up here or not. I really don't know, Larry. I'm going to have to check into that, but I mean, I don't care. It doesn't matter That's to me. A bit of a I, what I'm doing, too, is I'm building a water tower that goes with the train out here as I build it all together, and it's, you know, I'm going to run the That's a right dumbass there. statement in itself, isn't it? Oh, dear, my roof just, it just rained on my roof. My roof just caught some rain. Talk to the government, not me. Dumbasses. They are, they're dumbasses. But you'll have that. You feel better now? Look at Donna rant. Yeah, too fucking right. Well, I know, I agree with you. Most people are pretty stupid. Well, that's, you know what, though? Like, you're talking about catching rainwater for the garden. Um, Christ, I use it to wash the porch off out here after Caesar slops mud all over the thing. I use it to wash the truck with. There's an endless amount of uses for that water. Oh, did anybody see the video I posted of uh, a couple of days ago? It's about a two-second video. Caesar's, Caesar the radio dog's gloop. Oh, uh, it was swinging in the wind. I think there's somewhere in Oregon or Utah, too. They'll, they find people for collecting rainwater. And these people put in these great big rainwater collection systems under the ground and all this shit. Thousands of dollars to set these things up. And they get fined and all kinds of shit for that stuff. So, you know, go look at it. Uh, if you read Mother Earth News, too, every once in a while there'll be a story in there about that. But most places you can. And uh, it's it really... I think the worst thing is, is when you get some friggin' whiny little fuck next door that wants to rat on you. Those are, that's why I don't like neighbors. Ain't nobody's business what I do. Ever. Ever. All the time. That's right. So anyways, um, where was I? Yeah, I think it's Oregon, too. One of those friggin' tree-hugging states out there. People are assholes. That's why I don't live there. Oh, I agree, Michelle. Totally, believe me. That kind of crap is ridiculous. Who the fuck are these people to tell us how to live and what to do all the time, you know? 
I mean, we've got to have laws to keep the country under control. Fine. Makes perfect sense to me. But stupid laws? Especially, who the fuck is government or anybody else to tell us what to do with nature? I mean, if you're out there, you know, like these idiots ripping out forests and destroying everything that makes the planet work, yeah, that's one thing. But catching rainwater? I mean, it's freaking ridiculous. Everybody owns the rain. Not owned by the government. So much crap. Well, maybe you are down there. It's about over with up here. It's pretty much uh, we're Would very you close to be being wasted out of the and We're in mod we're below moderate drought now up here in uh, in North Texas. What's that? So, would you rather the rain be wasted? Would you rather all the water be wasted or do something with it? Well, the th you know the thing is, it all runs through the water uh, system and ends up in the lakes, and then they use the water to feed the city water. You know, fuck the country people. And, you know, it's one of those one law applies to all kind of thing instead of having well, you know, sensibility. Well, you know, that water, we, water, we use that water to water our trees. And the trees get nice, pretty blossom and all that doodah. And they pollinate other trees. And, you know, it helps everything, doesn't it? If you're from Oregon, you're a tree hugger. Plain and simple. People are idiots. I've seen more stupid shit come out of that state over things like that. There's a friend I have that had a set up, built a whole friggin' railroad, a scale railroad, like the size of mine, in his property, and they literally took him to court and won and took his property from him and made him sell the railroad and get rid of all that because it was someplace, some kind of a, uh, what the hell did they call it? Not a, it wasn't a rain shed, it was uh, some kind of protected area. The guy bought the property, owned the property, and found out that they weren't supposed to sell him the property because it was protected by the the marsh law or something of marshes have to grow and the birds can stay and all that stuff. And he even went and asked about permits and all that shit, and they told him it wasn't necessary and all that shit. Then this governor, this new governor came in, when uh, this was a few years back, and uh, they, they took him to court and won. And he had to tear out the whole road. He had to sell everything and get rid of all of it and move. So he, I don't know where he went. I have never heard another word from him, but... Just, that's the kind of fucking ignorant government we have, you know, and people just let them get away with it. Yeah, Oregon, please. It's a beautiful area, but I'd be goddamn if I'd ever lived there. Wow, what's wrong with it? The people. What's wrong the with government it? more than the people. The, gov the government. Oh. oh, yeah. Remember, I was a tree hugger out here in the front yard. Oh, yeah. Remember, I, I, kissed, I kissed my tree. That wasn't outside. That was in front of Home Depot. <laughs> oh, is that where it was? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I kissed a tree in front of Home Depot. Yeah, but you Home got a bit... Depot, Home Depot, because it was so beautiful. You got a bit weird when you started using your tongue, though. you got well, to admit. it had berries on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you broke a branch up and shoved it up your bum. I mean, where did it stop? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Yuppies? Yup, yuppies. Oh, Idaho. Well, there's things about Idaho that ain't that great, but I don't know. I'm not a hoe anymore, but... She used to be a hoe. I know, bad joke. She used to stand on the corner and say, Idaho. No. Oh, all right. All right, just forget <laughs> it. Yeah, I know exactly. Quack, 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 quack. Sorry, 811 Randy and Donna, the Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Nip. No! Hey, Brenda. Um, Donna mentioned that you said Dave Bell's name. What was that all about? I missed the whole thing totally. Was there more to it than that, or, or what? Just curious. She yeah, showed I, you his name on there. Yeah, I, I was out, I was outside on, you know, getting the washing in, and I thought, and I just saw his name, and it didn't really go with anything. Did else you in the chat. Uh, see any lightning while you were looking? No, at I didn't. Okay, well, it ain't that close then, but sure looks close. I know where it is according to the map. Yeah, I can so. certainly feel the damp in the air, like the clothes. You know, I can just feel it in the. Can you smell the rain? Yeah, you can smell the rain and the clothes aren't exactly dry now. If you can it smell the rain, it's close enough. Yeah. Yeah, I know it. I love that smell, though. Oh, the str... <laughs> okay, yeah. Dave Bell used to be my best friend in school. Yeah, I remember He's now that, my yeah. ex-best friend, but that's uh -huh. another story. And uh, he streaked through the, the gymnasium one time. Oh. And... Uh, I was supposed oh, to. Yeah, I remember you saying Yeah, that. I was supposed to meet him on the other side with his clothes. Well, somebody started chasing him, and he went out another door, and <laughs> he had to run down the street without his clothes until I caught up with him. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, there really was a streak, a streaker. Boogie dead, boogie dead, look at that. There he goes. Look out, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> There's a tree. <laughs> yeah, Michelle, remember that when that tree came walking into you, and it just clunks you. 
Oh my god, in stereo. <laughs> <laughs> you got it twice, did you then? <laughs> well, anyways, um, were you there to see him streak, Brenda? Did you see that? I don't know. I don't remember. I, can't, I just remember it happened. I don't remember what the hell it was. It was during some kind of... Was it a basketball game or something? I don't even remember what the hell happened. Oh, it was back in the 70... It had to be 74, 73, 74, um, maybe 75, but I was at Voet School in 75 and 76. Before I was even born. Yeah, I was at the high school in Orwell, I remember that. I was there, so it had to be before 74. Yeah, it was a pep rally, that's right. Yeah, it's coming back little by little. Yeah, we're not friends anymore, I wouldn't give them the time of day, but I probably shouldn't even have said that, but that's... Uh, was it 76, really? wonder why I was there. I was smoking dope and hanging out at the Vo Ed School. Me and Rod, I think, back then. But I'll take your word for it, because I don't remember. Not that important to me anymore. Anyways, as I keep saying, let's move on here and let's do some more music. Playing today's country hits and yesterday's favorites, commercial free. Brandon Man and Donna Nadritz on RTM Radio. You know, he did get his diploma and graduated, but yeah, they weren't going to give it to him. And, uh, you know, back in them days, it just, uh, was a lot of being nice and talking to the right people, I guess. But yeah, he did get it. Um, we had our graduation party together at his house there in Orwell, which was like, I don't know, I got no six months later or something. Hi, Lee. Lee wants to know what everybody's wearing. We ain't got no panties on. We ain't got shit on. Naked as a jaybird. Rick's naked as normal. Did you see what, uh, what was it? Said something about uh, high winds? Was that Becky? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I've got terrible wind tonight. Oh, my God. Poor Not Randy. You, you I'm going to be pulling the cover over his head and ripping a right I'm big dirty one. Your ass, you start that <laughs> shit. You love it, really. No, it's. Uh, I ain't got no panties on. Said there's some high wind coming. I believe it. That's what the mom told me earlier. I checked the map and I watched the weather thing, and nobody said anything about it. But supposedly it's supposed to get pretty wicked. So that's kind of what we're watching for. I keep looking out the window and waiting. And haven't heard any thunder, seen any lightning. But when that comes down, we'll probably boogity boogity out of here. In the meantime, let's do that boogity boogity. Or we might get boogity boogity off here like we did last night. That might just be it. Well, it was wicked, wasn't it? Yeah. Other stations say they play today's country. Well, you can put your boots in the oven, but that don't make them biscuit. RTM Radio. RTM Radio. RTM Radio. news across the nation. On the scene at the Super Don't look, Brenda! Don't look, Smelly Shelly! Oh, my goodness. Yes, that was quite a time, that's for sure. Boy, we had some fun back when we was young and dumb and stupid. Young and dumb and full cum. That's right. All right. Well, anyways, we got to move along here and keep shit happening. I'm about to check the weather map again. That kind of makes me nervous. What's this with a leather belt? Good night, Michelle. Thanks for coming night. by, hon. Appreciate having you here. Really, I do. Nice to have you stop by. Tickles me to death to have somebody from up that neck of the woods even come close to paying any attention to me. But that's just the way it is. Yeah, whip it. Whip it good. And then there's that girl that paid attention to him from 5,000 miles away. Yeah, you, but so? <laughs> I got you now. <laughs> <laughs> now you got to keep me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there's a trick to everything, right? <laughs> All righty, then moving right along our way then. Let's play us some more music. i got another Alison Cross song to do. Love it. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> this portion of the show is being brought to you by Ed's Almost Good Beer. Remember, Ed's Almost Good Beer was brewed in God's country when God wasn't looking. By request, chicken fried, Zach Brown. Let's break it out of your No, well, I'm a chicken fried. There you go, just for our very own Spreaker Daddy. That storm's about 35 miles away. It's very slow moving, but it's it's coming this way. We are prepared, that's for sure. Thanks, Rick. We are. It's good tune, what are we man, gonna that's do? for sure. We're going to go out and fucking a lightning storm. Yes, sir. You know stupid questions? 
<laughs> oh, oh, oh. What's wrong with you? Uh, it's either this show or indigestion. I hope it's indigestion. Why? It'll get better in a little while. Yeah, well, it won't get much better. Oh, well, that right, Bad Mr. Mouse. time Mouth. you showed up from under that desk, I told you to take a while. I told you to take him a while to get up, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, well, I wasn't even thinking it was going to take that long. Hi, it's, everybody. It's because your legs are so long, like your face. Yeah, well, you ought to see yours. Are you looking in the mirror lately? <laughs> I'm like long like you. <laughs> <laughs> you two stopped ragging. <laughs> There's more lightning coming, buddy. Hey, you know today, Randy, yeah, I, I was I was coming out your mum's house and I just happened Without? to catch your mum's. Who? Grandma's. Mum? <laughs> what kind of word is that? I, anyway, I happened to spot a picture of Randy as a kid and he had a really, really long face and I was and I was giggling to myself as I come out thinking, hey, don't they say the dogs look like their owners? No, <laughs> you are quite sake. long-faced, Randy. We do look a lot like Pop. Well, let's just, just leave it at that, please. <laughs> You've got the same eyes and everything. <clears throat> One of my ex-wives used to call me the father of our country. <laughs> That's why she's an ex. <laughs> That's not funny, Pop. <laughs> well... It is now. It wasn't then. <laughs> That's another story. Hello, oh, everybody. Where's Zoe? Oh, my God. That's got, all you're worried about is pussy. You've got it? Nicholas Rich in the chat room sticking up for you. Nicholas Rich wants to know, what, hey, Donna, why the long face? Oh, I like him. <laughs> yeah. He's funny. Didn't he just say he was going to pump the mare up somebody's ass? Up oh, Michelle's ass. Yeah, I was reading that. Not just anybody's ass, she, Michelle's ass. She probably liked that. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you know She's about that? She's a bit weird like that. Anyways? What? She's a bit weird like that. Who? Michelle. Why is it you talking about Zoe? Oh, I don't know about Zoe Beth. I've not seen Zoe Beth She's in the He's a hot tonight. babe, man. That's a bitch I could do. Stop. Don't be a pervert in front of everybody. What's well, he hot? Look at those ears, man. Long, pretty hair and all that. I bet you wish you could bone her. Oh, I wish. I could seam her to death. <laughs> <laughs> Sees you're not even funny. Well, I try. Give her yeah. a right good seaming to. You're very, too. You're very huh? trying. <laughs> What? So are you going to give her a right good semen to? Oh my god. <laughs> That's funny, darling. <laughs> Long-faced tard. Stop. <laughs> you guys better start learning to get along. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Was that your phone again? Yeah, it's that stupid whistle she got on you. <whistles> hey, Poppy says, uh, flash that seam, Caesar. Here you go, baby. Have a look at this. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't know if I can get my leg up now. <laughs> Careful, don't fall down. <laughs> I ain't the young pup I used to Mrs. be. Mrs. Jibjab just sent sure. me this message Uh-oh. on its way to you all. Can you see that? Yeah, that's what I was just looking Holy at. Holy fucking macaroni. I know, it was pissing me off too. My hair gets everywhere. I know, you shed worse than Caesar does. Hey, competition. Yep, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Becky says hi, Caesar. I see that. Hi, Beck. What's up? Won't be long. Pretty soon you can come and share my stinky couch with us. Yeah, there's enough yeah, for the that nice. I suppose we probably should wash his blanket before they get here. I don't know. I mean, maybe the lack of the season. I want to share over. it with her. I want her to see what it's really like over here. Shut up, idiot. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe Mrs. Jib Jib Jab can hug you on your couch and get all gloopy with you. Maybe Tim could curl up with me on the couch like Pop does, and we can nap together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good Caesar idea. loves to nap with me, boy. He'll lay on the couch and let me. Uh, Put my legs up there and then we kind of just cuddle oh, up and crash. Oh, look, in the chat room, what? Christine says, Give me your address, Caesar, and I'm going to send you some more balloons. Oh, I've just, Donna just made a video of me playing with some balloons. Them time bitches are cool, man, but they just, all of a sudden they're just gone like that. I don't know where they go. It's really weird. Yeah, I know. You should see the look on his face, though, when he bites those balloons. All of a sudden they just kind of go, <laughs> and he's standing there, yeah, I'm standing there looking around like, what the fuck? Yeah, I know. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? And that one that uh, went into the field the other day and you couldn't catch it. Aww. What cat shit? What's a cat doing around here? I never seen no and cat. And the balloon that went into the field next door and you couldn't oh, catch it. Oh, and I went. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. I shouldn't have done that, but I love those balloons, though. Boy, they're cool. Well, well maybe somebody will send you some. They're really cheap, though. Grandma buys them all the time. We stole them from her. I know. I'm glad you did. They're pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, I know. It's cool. All right. Are you done yet? Well, I don't know, am I? <laughs> you tell me. You're the one that barged into everything. I didn't barge in. Long face invited me. Uh, and you've not even said right. hello to Poppy tonight. What? You've not even said hello to Poppy tonight. Oh, 
puppy. Hi, pup. No, not me. Puppy the dog. You oh. know you want to pop it with pop it? Oh, I want to pop puppy. Yeah. That's right. It's like popping popcorn. Yeah. Be some snap, crackle, and pop, baby. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> okay, Randy. The, uh, the, uh... You talking to me now, or...? Yeah, the body language that you just did then, when you... <laughs> it's like you want to bone... What's so pop- funny about that? I don't have any Randy, idea what Randy, it's like you want to bone poppy yourself. <laughs> I think that's what she meant, Pop. Kind of do it like this. Uh, 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 uh. Will you stop being a hornball? You do that a little bit too well. You guys should see what he's doing behind me. Behind yeah. Me. You see, what? See? Up, puppy. Up, puppy. Up, puppy. Will you stop? <laughs> Disgusting, wretched pig. <laughs> All right, go do something. Get some rest because if the storm comes and it lightnings, you know you're going to be curled up my ass again. Well, that's just creepy, man. It scares the hell out of me. Hey, just like guys. that moron shooting gun next to Hey, Caesar. What's lung hard and full of semen? Oh, that's easy. My sack. Oh, stop. You haven't got a sack. Guess again. Yeah, but you said seam. Semen. Oh, I'm semen. Never mind. What's long and full of semen? A submarine! Oh, that's very funny. Wah, 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 what douchebag came up with that one? Will you stop talking bitch. about the listeners like that? <laughs> well, I didn't write it. I know you didn't write it. Doesn't mean you can't just <laughs> pretend like it's funny and say, ha, ah, okay. <laughs> you have to go, wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> uh, wah, wah. Shut up. <laughs> All right, you're out of here. Anyway, you uh, song. you've learned how to say, uh, do it now, haven't you? You've been quite assertive. Show these guys. Well, um, do it now. Yeah. Does that sound like a long face to you? Very, very long. Especially see, if you do when it you... like this, if you go, do it now. See how long, <laughs> my, see how long my face gets when I say now? <laughs> it is long anyway. That's just what you look like when you go, do it now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I swear. <laughs> Oh, you're too much. Can we play some more music now? Yeah. Do it now. What 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 song are we gonna play, Cs? Um, I don't know. What's up, Pop? Point it out over here. Let me see. That's uh well I don't know, I didn't even load oh yeah, Trisha Yearwood. Oh, it's Trisha Yearwood. She's in love with the boy on the RTM Radio uh, what is what is it? Yankee and the Brit show. Oh what happened the network? I don't know. Okay. He's Pop in the Brit. It's a Yankee and a long face. Pop, uh, pop, pop in the brick. Stop. <laughs> it's a Yankee and a long face on RTM radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're too much, buddy. Bye, everybody. Love you guys. Need you now. The Yankee and the Brit. The RTM radio nitwits. Yankee and the Brit show. You, my brown, brown eyed, eyed girl. girl. Hi, Stacy. What's going on, kiddo? Do nice to see you. remember ya. when? We used to sing sha la 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 da Just like that. sha la 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 Why are you laughing at exactly? Let me take a... Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Give me your phone. Give me something to take a picture with. There, I'll use this one. It's all charged up. I gotta have a picture of this right now. If you could see the hairiness going on over here. Hey, what the hell's up with this? Stupid ass phone. <laughs> That's kind of hot looking, you fucking like hot to, bitch, like man. Clips. You are one badass babe, let me tell you what. Well, we really need a light on over here. Look over here toward the computer. Put your flash on. Lean over this way. Get over here and let the computer light shine on that face of yours. That long face. Could you stop being a douche for just a <laughs> minute? Obviously not. Boy, it's not working so well. Your hair's disappeared into the dark. Yeah, use mine and put the flash on. Yeah, is that how you do it? Oh, a flash! Yeah! Yay, All right, let me put the flash on. Un momento, senorita, por favor. Un momento. Uh, flash is not available when you use the front camera, is it? Why is there no flash? What the hell's up with Said that? Said I wouldn't call. Oh. But I've lost all control and I need you. There we go. It was on, on, uh, it wasn't, it, okay, I got it. Ready? Ready. Hold that pose, baby. Stop leaning toward me! God damn it! How far back do you think I can lean? Stop! Smile! Smile! You fucking are about the most insidious fucking thing I've ever fucking tried to take a picture of. Oh my! You know one of those pictures that you regret taking? 
say kick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look it, it's Rosanna, Rosanna Dana. Holy fucking. Hang on, guys, because I'll post that after the show. Oh, my God. You better crop my tits out of that. <laughs> Your tits ain't even in it. They are. What are you talking God, about? Right down to my knees. You're such a, you can't even see your damn tits in the picture. What the fuck's the matter with you? Where? <laughs> what a douche. I swear to God. I could just get one decent picture of you without you fooling around one time. By request, Garth Brooks from Nick on the RTM Radio Network. Guess what it is? Thunder Rolls. With the Yankee and the Brit. 8.53. Anyways... What do you want to do? You want to do a couple more tunes or quit or? Oh no, let's quit. <laughs> you should see the look on your face. What? what, what You're just say? so fucking cute. <laughs> what? You were going to say something? No, we need to get off here because the storm's probably going to boot us off. It's getting closer. I keep seeing it. I can't believe it's been flawless up to this point. Something's mm-hmm. wrong. Maybe yeah, we change so internet right. companies. Oh, well, I was going to mention too. That's what I was, was like going to talk about when you went out to get the clothes was... Uh, we did talk to another internet company today that could save us, could fix our problem. It's a little bit more money, but, uh-oh, that's what he's freaking out about. Yeah, and yeah, he's nudging exactly you, 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 you. What do you think I'm over here crowing over up your ass? It's thundering. All right, I'll get, just, just stand by, okay? We're going to get done here quick. You better hurry. Stop. Now, we've, <laughs> he's a smart ass sometimes. Just see the look he's giving me. Well, anyways, we checked out this internet company out of South Carolina, and, uh, you know, I don't know, you know, it, I don't buy anybody's bullshit anymore, but the guy seemed sincere, uh, he talked a nice talk, was very uh, civil to talk with, he talked to us like he's talking to another human, it wasn't like he was reading from a script or anything. Um, I don't know, what did you think over over the guy? Um. So why the fuck am I even talking about it? <laughs> I don't know. So we might have found something else. It'll be a yeah, while. Yeah, it's got like a 60, 60 gigabyte limit, um, and it's supposed to be high speed, so we shouldn't have any problems quitting off. Um, maybe we can even do like a show on a Sunday night if we've got extra gigabytes to play with. But really cool. It's 60 gig for $139 a month, which isn't much more than, well, our phone bill and what we have now with Exuck is more than that. But, I don't think it would be that much more if we took these guys on. But, it's the upfront fees that you got to have about $300 to get started with them. So, that might be the downfall right there, at least for now. But, I think we've found something finally. Anyways, it might work. So, we'll have to wait and see. But, just thought I'd throw that out there. <clears throat> we haven't given up yet. But, I am going to dump Spreaker as soon as it's possible. That's it. This shit's got to stop. And, after what we read, like we mentioned earlier... Give me next seed. What did I say? Spreaker? Spreaker. <laughs> <laughs> Both about the fucking same in my book. No, Spreaker's not bad. <laughs> no, they've been. It's been good. So we haven't much problem with that. It's you know, a co- couple of years ago, we had we was constantly having problems with Spreaker, but it seems to have sorted its shit out by now. Nick, can't thank you enough for coming by, buddy. Come on, get settled. Go. Come on. All right. So, I want to do one more tune, and then we'll get out of here. How's that sound? Okay. One more tune. Bobby Ann Mason, New York TM Radio Network. This Grand is Man Christopher Donald. Worley. You know the story. So anyways, we are out of here. Thanks. It's raining like a bitch, too. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's raining pretty damn hard. Not as hard as it was last night, though. We can still hear each other. But anyways, we're about to blow this pop stand. So thanks for coming by. We love all you guys. Every single one of you stinkers. Appreciate it. Brown Eyed Girl, thanks for stopping by. Thanks to everybody else. Lisa McBride. Wherever you may be, thanks, hon. I think she's listening. She said she might. Yeah, she said she was going to listen tonight. As far as that.